Barry, talk us through what's happening. Yeah, good morning, Jane. Well, we had this uh, warrant of warrant search and seizure warrant, which was obtained yesterday afternoon by the Special Investigating Unit and the Hawks uh, to come and uh, execute here at the National Lottery Commission's uh, offices in Hatfield in Pretoria. Now, we've had about a dozen or so SIU officers um, who have arrived which, along with their, their colleagues from the Hawks, and they've just entered the building a short while ago. Uh, what they're going to be looking for, we understand, is computers um, as well as other electronic storage devices. Uh, there's documents as well to try and put together a paper trail. The president had issued the Gazette just a month ago, the 6th of November, to conduct this investigation, um, dating back from a period as far back as 2014, uh, to look into allegations of uh, a corruption, fraud, uh, tender irregularities. But we know from reports over the last couple of years by the likes of Ground Up, which has done amazing work in exposing the rampant corruption in this organization, of how Funds that are meant for development of under-resourced communities and organizations are being siphoned off to uh, well-heeled individuals. What the, uh, we understand the modus operandi would be like is that an organization would be set up uh, claiming to do particular work for a community, um, and they would be channeled millions upon millions of rand, uh, which ultimately goes into their pockets but never to the communities it's supposed to uh, support. So the SIU here today, together with the Hawks, to gather that information to try and put together a case uh, which they hope to take to court one day. Barry, it doesn't matter how many times you hear it, the, the cruelty linked to corruption in, the, in this country is just staggering, isn't it? It always affects the most vulnerable. Any idea how many people are being investigated, the sort of the extent of, of this theft? We don't have an idea just yet, but what I can tell you, Jane, is that we do know the chief operations officer, um, uh, Philemon Letwaba, was suspended in March this year. At the same time, an internal investigation was initiated into uh, the allegations which the SIU are basically looking into. But Letwaba has been linked to uh, several of the scandals which have been reported on related to the disbursement of grants to organizations which ultimately never uh, was never used for any actual uh, development. It, it went straight into the pockets of linked and connected individuals, including uh, members of his family. That's the allegation. But there certainly would be the individuals who received those funds, um, which are outside of the National Lotteries Commission. Uh, but then you have the other people um, who would be the beneficiaries. How far did this money trail go? And I think that's what they... This would be the genesis of, of where the money would start. It certainly would extend to those other people, and that investigation will certainly go down the line. Well, let's hope the Hawks can wrap that up today and get everybody involved. Thank you very much for that, Barry. We'll be talking to you throughout the day.